As the fighters seal the ring, this is the closing bout of the evening. In the middleweight division, we've got five three-minute rounds out of the blue corner. It is Lucas Sayer from Diesel Gym. And the red corner, Tyler Hardcastle from Riddler's Gym. We've seen a uh, great showing by the team from Riddler's here tonight, Pinky. As expected, as expected. Tyler here is a, is a seasoned veteran at still a young age, and he's, he's one, of, one of my favourites in Australia. Beautiful style, nice left kick, southpaw. Definitely been stepping up in, in recent times and, and really, really, really performing. And some big names. And let's be honest, Hardcastle is a pretty good name for a fighter. It is, it certainly is. But uh, you speak about his experience, he's 24 years of age, and uh, he's had 37 fights already, 27 wins of the lot. That's Quite impressive, yeah. Very impressive. Yeah, for sure. He, he, he's a good kid too. He's a good kid. It's always good to hear as well. Lucas Sayer is at the age of 24 as well. Uh, he's got 12 wins, 5 losses, and 2 KOs. Uh, not a great deal of height difference between the two. Lucas Sayer has three centimetres on Tyler. Yeah, I think this is, Tyler's stepped up in weight for this one. Normally Tyler, Tyler's 67 kilos. Um, stepped up to um, Lucas's weight this time. Um, I'm actually a really big fan of Lucas as a, as a fighter and as a human, actually. He's such a good dude. Um, I'm actually really excited to see this. And he, he steps up. He doesn't care who he fights. Always, always willing to step up. It's always a good thing to see. Absolutely. Nothing better than people challenging themselves and not getting hand fed. So round number one about to take place. All thanks to Butler's Lawyers. Look them up at butlers.com.au. Or you can give them a call at 089386520. Muay Thai Grand Prix, our final bout. And I tell you what, we haven't had a bad one all night. Oh, it's been absolutely amazing. Spoilt we've been. For sure. Look us it's up, muaythaigp.com or on social media. You look us up, Muay Thai Grand Prix Australia. Nowhere else in Australia can you put on a show and have a world-class event with just locals. <laughs> There's literally been one interstater, I think, isn't it? One? Yeah. 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 With, with um, Charlie Bubb. Aside from that, it's all Western Australians and it's absolutely amazing. A lot of great homegrown talent. Oh, the strongest state in Australia by a mile. Very I'm really great. excited for this one. Luke's is a bit of a dark horse. Final words from the corner. Luke's is an overly big 70 kilos. He doesn't do a big cut. But this is his natural fight weight. Tyler's stepped up. Swing and a miss from Tyler after receiving three three quick kicks from Lucas. Nice block and reply. Both lads looking for kicks early on here. Both have very nice styles. They do. Very proficient at swinging those feet. Both got very slick defense as well. Straight left there from Tyler into the clinch. Very strong in the clinch here. It's getting wrapped up. Lucas is sticking his face on his chest so he can't get elbowed. He returned it well. Met both these boys originally fighting in, when they both came over to fight in Adelaide on different occasions. Okay. Yeah. How'd they go? Um, both Tyler's had two wins, one loss in Adelaide, I reckon. And Lucas has had one fight for one win in Adelaide. Okay. Yeah. Both quality, quality, quality guys. They both come miles since those fights also. Massive kicks there, both blocking them. Huge. Oh, wow. Massive left kick there from Tyler, landing cleanly on the ribs. You would hear them outside the venue, I don't doubt. No doubt at all. Oh. 
getting some weight behind those kicks. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of them. Not at all. But I'm a bit of a pussy, so that's a different co different story. Tyler happy to go backwards and play the IQ game. Oof. Oh, another one of those big He's big covering kicks. a lot of ground with that left kick as well. Yeah. Starting way out of range and then closing the gap with the kick, hovering across the ground. And he's done oh. it again, whipping that hip in as well. It's interesting because Lucas isn't letting it show if it is hurting him. Nah, good poker face. Big right kick from Lucas as well. Inside leg kick there as well by Tyler. Both a couple of good looking roosters as well, I might add. Oh, that never hurts. <laughs> Definitely makes them more marketable, I guess. Always looks good on the poster. <laughs> Everyone loves a poster boy. Mm, smart, smart little sweep of the leg there from Tyler. Both, both very equal there, good. Yeah, that's the uh, first of five rounds, all thanks to Butler's Lawyers. They're located in the Netherlands. You can look them up at butlers.com.au or give them a call 08 938652 Putting the phone number in my phone as we speak. Look, it's always good to have legal representation. They can assist you with all your legal needs. There are highly recommended Australian law firm practicing in all aspects of family law, criminal law, wills, inheritance claims, probates, letters of administration, guardianship, SAT, business estate planning and trust. They can do the lot. Hit them up. Butler's Lawyers. Bringing you this very fight, which is going to finish off a just stupendous night of Muay Thai Grand Prix action. It's been uh, great to share it with you too, Pinky. Yeah, I've really enjoyed it too. Interesting to see what happens in this second round, at least from the side of Lucas Sayer, because those body shots. Yeah, he's been worn a lot of left body kicks, but he does have quite a powerful rear leg himself. Just needs to get that rear leg up to block. Fighting a southpaw, the hardest thing is blocking that left kick. With, a, with an orthodox, and you fought, when they throw on left, they're going to switch their feet first, so you see the switch happen. You've got time to defend yourself. But when it's a southpaw, it's their, their rear leg. They just throw it straight from where it is. It's a lot harder to, to read it, and it's a lot more powerful. I'm pretty sure Tyler Hardcastle knows all about it and he's going to go and try and throw just as many I have as no round. doubt. I'm, I'm sure Riddler's telling him that in the corner right now. Oh yeah. As I'm sure the um, the Diesel guys are telling him exactly the opposite. Make sure you're blocking that rear leg. <laughs> Carl and Frankie there giving the instructions. Interesting... Um, Frankie in the corner is actually one of Riddler's old students. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Running, now running that gym there with um, Carl. Beautiful kicks off that rear leg. By well, Lucas. Tyler replies. Oh, he's for a big right hand yeah. there. But Swing and a miss. Didn't have much luck. Yeah, Tyler's happy to go backwards and read it. Yeah, he's assessing that situation. There you go. He went straight back to the uh, side midsection. Oh! Whoa! Lucas needs to start getting the final kick in in the exchanges, which is hard when you're wearing such a massive hit, like left kick from Tyler. But he's got to do it to get that point back, and he should reply there. That block really nice, but he's got to reply. He's just launching him every single time as well. Sure is. There's some, there's some bad intention in those left kicks. Oh, man. Oh, oh, there another one. Speak of the devil. They're, they could be arm breakers. If you wear them too much across the forearm, could snap, could snap the arm. Lucas burying his face so he doesn't worry about elbows. Goes for the sweep in the clinch. He is stronger in the clinch, I believe. Both seem quite comfortable with it. As well. Another massive left kick from Tyler. Tyler Hardcastle. Just now. Oh, just 
Where's another one? Yeah. You see, see his ribs starting to welt up. Yeah. Oh. Swing and a miss. Soon with a few yeah. more of those. And it's on that rear leg. That rear leg doesn't really get conditioned. The front leg gets kicked all the time. It gets conditioned. It takes half the amount of kicks to kick the back leg and stop the leg kicks. So he's got to make sure he's blocking that back off that back leg. Luca's doing a nice job of stalking him. Tyler, picking Warden. his moments each time. Yeah, he's worn another one of those left picks of the ribs as Lucas. Tyler's letting that let go at will. There's another one. Swing and a miss. Lucas needs to drop lower with that, with that right kick so that Tyler can't swing out the way of it. Aim around hip height. Yeah, that was that was without that slap. That that can be, that sounds bad. That little thud might not sound as impressive, but still, it's, uh, it's probably it's probably worse. Yeah, <laughs> just means there was no foot involved. It was all all shin. <laughs> Round number two, all thanks to Butler's lawyers. That was two of five. So we've got a battle on our hands between these two. A great way to finish off an awesome evening of action. I do love the um, ring card ring card girls wearing traditional Thai outfits. Um, I was freaking them out a bit earlier speaking Thai to them. For those who oh. don't know, I, I, I speak reasonably fluent Thai, I guess. And um, I like to... I like to freak the Thai people out sometimes by having a little conversation with them in Thai. <laughs> sure they're well impressed. <laughs> Depending on what you said, I'm sure. <laughs> I try to be appropriate. <laughs> Alrighty. Nice long two-minute breaks in between rounds. In the, at the end of the earlier rounds, it gets a little bit boring in the corner because you don't need that much recovery time. When you're sitting there having a conversation, you run out of things to talk about. <laughs> Happened to us one time where they accidentally gave us two minute breaks on a two minute round fight. So it was a two fight, two minutes break for two minutes. And my boy wasn't gassing at all. We were just having a conversation about going out partying after the fight. <laughs> it was quite entertaining. Shout out to Rig back at home. He's my 2IC in the gym. Lovely. Just recovering from knee surgery. Oh, well, hopefully he's watching at livecombatsports.com.au. Go for round number three. We're off. Tyler straight back with that left kick. Lucas is back stalking. That was a good block. Oh. Rapid fire kicks. Not the first time we've seen that tonight from the Southpaw. No, not at all. It's like a machine gun offloading. Oh. Let's off another left kick as Tyler. Just a cracking blow. Lucas isn't flinching. He's not bothered. Doesn't seem to be bothered by any of it. See if it wears him down the later rounds, but he's still stalking Tyler. He's still happy to stand in front of him. Beautifully timed teeth from, from Lucas. Miss, oh, oh. drop of the right hook there. Clean right hook on the chin of Lucas. And Lucas is a tough boy. It takes a lot to drop him. Put him down. Just a, just a sharp shot on the chin. Doesn't look like he's hurt. Flash knockdown. Yeah, he's ready to go back to is it. Is Tyler going to go for it, or is he going to give him... Gonna go back to playing the game. Yep, he's back. Pretty happy to play the game. He knows it was a flash knockdown. That Lucas isn't actually hurt. The thing is, I guess the more that he's welted up those ribs, I mean, his, his, his arm's gonna drop down to try and cover it, which will leave his face exposed. Am I right? For sure, that that definitely happens. Same sort of thing happens when people's leg starts getting banged up. They start reaching down for the leg. It's a good time to go for a head kick. I'll tell you what, with the. Uh 
the amount of force that Tyler's throwing those leg kicks at the ribs, I wouldn't want to wear one on the face. Yeah, not at all. Uh, he actually won knockout of the year a few years ago with a um, absolutely shocking head kick win. You have to look that one up after tonight, I think. Straight, straight left, straight left, straight through the guard. Lucas is starting to get the block up a little bit quicker. Rear kick of his own. Lucas still happy to stand in front. He's very relentless like that. He's always happy to stalk someone around the ring, keep him on the ropes. Not an easy night at the office when you're fighting someone like that. You've got to work. You've got to hit them. Otherwise, they just keep walking up on you. Yeah. Keep you moving. A big solid rear kick from both the boys there. Swing and miss over the top rope. He's straight back at it. Ooh, swing the elbow. Big rear kick there to finish the round. Oof. Round number three. Brought to you all thanks to Butler's Lawyers. You can check them out online at butlers.com.au or you can give them a call at 089-3865-2000. So taking a shot to the head like that and uh, getting dropped, it's going to be very interesting to see what we get in this fourth round. Do you think being knocked down like that will uh, play any games with the head of uh, Lucas at I all? don't think so. He's pretty He's pretty mentally tough. Um, it's just, you know, it's bad for the scorecards. He seems to have got straight back, back back onto the game. Doesn't seem to have bothered him too much. He shook it off pretty quickly. Yeah. Fantastic night here at a Muay Thai Grand Prix. Thank you so much for joining us. The crowd sticking it out right through to the end, still pumping. I mean, why wouldn't you after what we've seen here so far tonight? Every bout has been a good one. Absolute value for money on tickets. Anyone who's missing out, who lives in Perth and is missing out, I um, yeah, you've made a bad, bad, bad choice in life. That's right. Don't make the mistake again. Come down to the next one. Look us up. Muay Thai GP.com and a Muay Thai Grand Prix Australia on Facebook and Instagram. Get behind it, people. There we go, fourth round. <laughs> round four, the bell is rung. Luke's is going for hands. Might be his best option. Try, try and punch to make up for the for, for the scoring. Try and hurt him. Try and hurt Tyler. Try and drop him. As I said, Lucas fights at this weight normally. Tyler doesn't. Maybe the heavier heavier shots might pay might pay for Lucas in the long run if he starts throwing some heavy hands. Tyler is very smart though. Very intelligent fighter. He knows how to get the timing to do exactly that. Stop Lucas from coming in with his, by kicking him in the body. So many body shots. Yeah, they're horrendous leg kick, oh. left kicks as well. There's another one. Just time after time again. But it's a credit to Lucas as well. He just keeps going at him. He, he's, he's a tough boy. It's really admirable just the will and testament of these fighters. And he doesn't he doesn't take an easy fight. Like this this is a huge step up in experience and stuff. But he's living up to it. Sure Still stalking is. forward. Beautifully timed teeth there. Whoa. Big kick from Lucas there. Across the arms. Oh, Kicks to the ribs here. Yeah, I'm feeling them. Yeah, the midsection's just lit up. I'm sure the camera's picking it up as well. Tyler being smart with that teeth and getting himself out of, out of the corner. 
rear kick from Lucas, then followed up by right. We've got uh, Tyler countered with a right hook, and then the big left kick again. Tyler's having fun. You can see by the way he's dancing around a little bit. He's having a good time in there. Another big left kick. Lucas is not going to give him an easy night at the office. He's going to keep stalking him. That's right. He's going to keep worrying him, but he's going to make him keep throwing him as well. I'm a bit envious of the boys sweating in there. I'm nice and cold here ringside. <laughs> Slick move out of the way there by Tyler. Once again, Lucas is not getting out of the way. Staying in front of him. Big rear kick. And Adam swinging a miss from Tyler there. Solid dodge by Lucas. Yeah. Good swing back. Kicking low from Lucas. Another body kick there from Tyler. High kick from Lucas, across the arms of Tyler. Rear team, just Lucas pushing forward, nice long guard when those shots, when those punches are coming at him. Yeah, Lucas is always just moving forward. Yeah, you, 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 he makes it a hard night at the office. Yeah. If you don't work, you get hit with that style. That was a, str a stronger round from Lucas. Yeah, I think so as well. It was round number four, all thanks to Butler's Lawyers. Check them out at butlers.com.au. Give them a call, 0893865200. They can assist you with all your legal needs. So Tyler Hardcastle has thrown a tremendous amount at Lucas throughout this matchup. Do powerful. Do you think there's any chance of him tiring out just a little in this fifth round? Do you know what? He's not even breathing that hard at all there. I don't think he's going to struggle at all. I think he's going to get through this round, landing some heavy shots. Um, at, th at this stage, looks like a unanimous win. It's going to be a unanimous win to Tyler, unless there's a big upset in the, in the fifth and final round from Lucas. But it'll be a great learning experience for Lucas, being a big step up in experience. His, his last fight, was, was a big step up as well. I'll give it to him. I'll, I'll, I'll like that style of fighter. Willing to fight everyone. As we go into this uh, final round of the evening, I would love to say hello to everyone at Team Pinky back in Adelaide and my uh, wife and kids. Uh, thanks everyone for supporting and watching. I'm getting inboxes from everyone. <laughs> Lovely. Big shout out and lots of love from the Muay Thai Grand Prix team. I will point out, since you uh, said it, I've been watching Tyler Hardcastle and he looks about as calm as a person can be. He looks let fresh. Alone, let, alone, let alone someone who's been through four rounds of what he's done and what he's taken and dished out. Yeah, for it's, sure. Uh, he's getting a lot more confidence. He, um, I think he used to lack a bit of confidence in his earlier days, even though he was beating people. I don't think he had the confidence he has now. He, he, he's backing himself. It's lovely to see, actually. Show respect, yeah. As I said, they're both good boys. They're both, they're both gentlemen. There we go. Lucas is going to have to throw everything he's got, including the kitchen sink, and just hope he lands something that's going to that, that can drop on or at least at least drop Tyler. But he's going to need a, he's going to need a KO to win here. Yeah, we've seen a lot of hard, vicious shots from both competitors throughout this bout. But uh, I get the feeling we're going to see them just go for leave sure. nothing behind in this fear. It shows how well conditioned they are, both both fitness and body conditioning. They've both taken some heavy shots. Lucas wearing those massive left kicks and not even phased by them. They're both very conditioned, both very fit. Kicks of Tyler are just brutal. Yeah, it's um, it's, it wouldn't be nice, nice wearing those. Got a feeling uh, those where he where he misses with that high kick and Tyler replies with that left low kick, and his foot's flicking Lucas across the butt. I'm guessing he's going to be sore when he's in bed. Yeah, when he rolls over in the nighttime, his bum hits the bed sheet. I think it's going to hurt. I've been there. <laughs> My first fight in Thailand it was like that. I'll take your word for it. 
He's, he's, Lucas, look, he's not giving up. He's still in front of him the whole time. No, he's, he's, he's like the Terminator, just going forward, forward, forward. Nice strong long guard there. Tyler's just staying on the outside, picking him, picking away. Tyler, Tyler knows he's up on points. Yeah. yeah. He just has to do just enough this round. Just has to not get caught, that's all. Change of body kicks there. Yeah. Thought he was faking him out a little bit there, but once again that high kick from Luke's is missed and, he, and Tyler's replied with a with a leg kick. Crowd showing their love for the final 30 seconds. Lucas calling him on, wanting to have a punch on. Yeah. Big rear kick there from Lucas. Keep of the face from Tyler. Right on the mark. That'll do it. Wrapping up your fifth and final round, all thanks to Butler's Lawyers. Another quality bout here. A Muay Thai Grand Prix. Oh, absolutely enjoyable. This is not this.